good do you know the opposite of this matchup really to Finn? <laughs> well, I was going to say, Finn came into the league as a cled. Yes. Like, back, back when he was Blomster Finn <laughs> coming in. So I definitely On the back well of Snuffy was spotted. I don't think he was. No pings went down. The Maokai is still up by the Raptors. They might try and wrap this one around. 1-1-3 might be in some serious danger here. As they look to try and catch him out. There they go. Flash in. There's the hook. Kaiser does get a little bit of a CC. Gets brought back in by Perks. And that's first blood to the Draven. No stacks this time, but a great start. A lot invested here by Vitality, though. Flash on Kaiser. Flash on Perks to make that happen. We'll give Boa a fact. Flash can come out, but you would imagine it's going to be pretty safe for the Astralis bot lane, at least for the for the interim. Well, I definitely I feel like you got to still try and play this matchup aggressive in the bot side is Bo. Goes in on towards 113. First move here for Leader, though. Leader does get stunned up. We'll see Bo getting caught by the Nature Squad. Flashes away from Leader, who was going to get the Upscond of Duck going in on top of him. No more CC down, but now Leader's in a lot of trouble. And the staff comes down. Double kill over to my boy Bo. And he's doing exceptionally well. Now Finn underneath the tower. Can he trade back? Yes, he can. It's a one for one on the top side. Vitality came to play. Wait a, a second. down the bot what? side. Kaiser does get hit by the Aqua Prism, but those are some very deadly spinning axes. Kabe with a bit of gun fire power himself. Good job as well in this top lane to keep Finn in check. On three is moving up towards here though. No flash on Photon. We are going to see the charge come out here. And there's going to be the Ragnarok as well. I don't think you got many places to go here, Glad Photon took a fight he could not win. And Finn says, you know what? I know this matchup pretty damn well. We go towards that bot side. We are going to see the hook land on the Young Hoon. And the AD carries try and juke it out just a little bit. Bo does not have his ult nor his troll, and it felt like they just weren't able to work as well as they were hoping to around the style that they picked and snowballing off these big gold advantages. Now it upset. Looks like they might have found a success, and they're looking for it for him. They're looking for him. There's going to be the Whirling Dead flash away, but Yonghu means he does not die. They're going to see now the Nautilus has nowhere to go, and he goes down. The Rift Herald does get dropped, but I don't think that's going to do much for you here as the Wukong dies as well. Photon flashes over to catch out Leader and trades it back two for one, but it's going to be a three for one in just a second. TP coming in from the Annie. Don't think it's really going to do much for you. Oh. Photon, though, as well. Over in the wrong side of the map. He doesn't have anywhere really to be. And that's just going to be a huge overstep from Vitality. It's deja vu for Vitality as well. This is exactly what happened the first time these teams faced off in the regular split. Over aggression from Vitality, trying to punish Kobe and Jong Hoon. And Astralis turned it around. Now Perks is in so much trouble. You can't CC him during Ragnarok. It's too big of a festival. He cannot be stopped. One more swing of the axe, and that is going to be another kill. Finn getting the solo bolo, and Vitality, it was all going so well. What happened? It's a party for the in your own jungle. You have to back away. You can't take the risk that they're not coming, because if you do that, you're going to be in a worse situation. A 1v1 in the mid lane here. Perks will get the stun off. As uh, Bo Tibber's there, I really wish they had different hairs. <laughs> it would be so nice. Big. Yeah, just something that rather than the health bars to kind of come in. Fight, fight, fight! My Tibbers is better than yours. You know, when you're a kid, you're just, you know, like, my, my, my doll is better than yours. And Teddy Bear fight. You know, yeah. Straight away to make sure that he can toss that one down. Actually, change his mind now as he does see that the, uh, the bomb terror will leader. fall first. He does get stunned. Does he get caught out? There's going to be a flash in there from Kaiser to get the ultimate down. Leader's trying to see if he can survive, but he doesn't have the sustain. Upset gets himself some nice little stackaroonies. And that is the Draven very much going to be online. Still playing the bot side here, Finn no in trouble. Ult. No ult on Finn, no Ragnarok, which means he's just going to be CC'd underneath the tower, shut down by Photon. And this is Vitaly just reading the map. Ward for the TP means the perks huge can flank. flank. Huge flank, and he it's has not flash as well. It's not no wards, no wards whatsoever. Perks could flash into this bush and they still wouldn't even know he's there. That's how big of a flank this is. Can they catch him out? They're going to go straight away for the fight. They're going to have the Malkai open to disengage. Perks isn't quite there, but he finds two men in the back side. Kobe does end up getting the cleanse, the flash away, and the Annie is dead. It's a two for one trade. He was just a little too late on the play. Perks just couldn't find his man quick enough. And Vitality end up getting collapsed on Bo, though, still trying to go in for this. Finding Kobe in the bottom lane. Picks up one, but now the engage onto the top end. Yeah, there's going to see Photon. He wants to get himself a reset, but he won't get it in time. It's another one for one trade, so it's still two for three in favor. Never mind, four for two in favor of Astralis as Bo looks to try and maybe smite this one away. It's going to be difficult. Can he kick out one, one, three? That's the question. Yes, he can. Now you can't go for this. Bo's on a mission. Bo takes down another. And 
and Leader trying to clean it all up. It's scrappy, but Astralis will get their objective in the end. That was hella messy on this bottom side of the map. Astralis, though, as you say, will manage to get them. But it's definitely not the items you want on the particular, you know, champion. I mean, it definitely helps with the opportunity oh. to fight Kaiser over the wall. He goes over the wall, pops down his ultimate. They're going to see the Whirling Deck come in as Kobe did have to get himself back over the side. So he's going to put down his ultimate. 113 has no flash to get away from this, and Vitality find themselves an opportunity to fight back. Leader pushing in that top side, didn't have ultimate, so Vitality is no ultimate on any of the Vitality members. Silas should be able to get this reset on Flash over the wall. Flash Photon's going to stop him. Photon knows where he is, so he's going to be able to try and get this one fight going. I will say Photon's going to be careful. That it was a big abduct that did not get hit. Now they're going to try and steal away his own Flash in, Flash away. Kaiser needs to try and make sure he cannot get away. There is five members chasing you, Leader. You are the carry of Astralis. They want dead. Ascarl comes back in. They do secure it up. Eight, two, and three now on Bow. But the mid lane tower is going to go down for it. They sent everything in the kitchen sink up to that top end, and it gives the opportunity for Astralis to actually respond in kind with a mid lane turret. Olaf pushing the bot side. But literally, as the 20 minute mark hits, Baron up and available. Vitality are there but no ultimates available at all, pretty much across the board. Fiends no will flashes. be the first though. No flashes, this is risky. They're gonna try and flip this one here. You got perks on a flank, but they know he's there. 113 in the vicinity, will not have his ultimate for another eight seconds. 4,000, 3,000 on the HP perks on the Baron. Parks has been taken away off of this. Comet's gonna cleanse away the little bit of CC. They're still on the Baron, there's gonna be a TP coming in. That is Leader joining back on the play. It's gonna be a complete flip, but Vitality have gone off it. They don't know which way they wanna go. It comes in 124, and Bo secures it. That was definitely a weirdest smite fight I've seen. Annie and Draven go down, Bo as well. But they get the Baron and Vitality just trying to make this game completely chaotic. But three members of Vitality died. You can already see with the big one line ultimates of the Maokai and the Nami. And well, TP came in here as Perks looks to try and take out 113. They are going to bring him down fairly decently, but they haven't got the consistent damage. And the Nautilus is dead. There's a good ultimate onto the backside, though, and 113 has gone down. They kill off the Lucian as well. The Clan's got two. Leader goes golden. As you can see, there's Finn trying to get more done on this backside. The Annie's been traded back. It's a three for two in favor of Vitality. A four for two. And now the triple comes in. Finally, Vitality get themselves a fight. They've been keeping this game so chaotic. It has been a bonkers game, but Vitality find the pick, and now they still have the Baron buff there as well to make sure that they're able to push this one forward. Upset Photon going to focus on structures as Bo moves over to get that Ocean Dragon for themselves as well. This game You know, the kind of Kabe to assassinate somebody, so... We'll see with Bo on vision there. It's gonna be hard for them to really make this one work. Here we go. There's gonna be Hulk coming in up straight off that one, one, three. Needs to try and get himself away. That's a good tidal wave on the four though as Photon and Bo make work on this back side. Kabe has nowhere to leave, but he finally gets himself away. It is gonna be the Olaf jumping straight onto upset and he goes down. He's done his job and even a little bit more. Gets everybody distracted to come back into it. So it's a one for one trade. They will end up picking up one, one, three and Finn. So at least it's something for Vitality as they turn over towards this objective. Every time Astralis try to use the double TPs that they have in a side lane, Vitality immediately engage with Photon to make sure that they're not getting any value. And now Astralis on the back foot, three men trying to step up against the worst part of Vitality to try and fight again. Perks has Flash and has Ultimate looking for Kava and he finds him with no sums. Perks perfectly positioned to take down the AD carry of Astralis. Leader can do nothing. It's a double kill going over to the Annie. And Young Hoon is on the wrong side of the map. They're emoting, they're having a bit of fun because they know the inevitable is coming. And as well with a minute and Photon a Photon pushing mid. Photon still has ultimate to join in very quickly if Astralis do try and make a play here. Already moving across. Yep. Ultimate blown and Terror gone. Yep, Terror gone. Ultimate yeah, just to kind of bring in the cavalry. Everyone gets a nice little speed boost. You got two double cannon minion. They can move back in towards this mid lane. You can see leader trying to clear this one out. Vitality and a little bit overzealous here. They will eat themselves on the Tree roots and the tidal wave, but they're gonna go straight in on the back side. 113 force a flash wave, but can he get away? That is the question. Good hook there on the Kabe, he forced him to uh, cleanse. There's two kills already, your front line is dead. Kabe has nowhere left to be. He's trying to kite this one out as best he possibly can. Bo goes underneath the laser of the fountain, but it looks like Vitality have finally cracked open this base. It was scrappy, it was hella chaotic, but they got the job done. It was a banger of a game, but unfortunately, Kabe just isn't allowed to play the game. And now Vitality. Vitality will take game one in this series. That 
made me very happy. This was a <laughs> this was a chaotic, constant fighting game that just never ceased. It felt like even though in, in, in good kudos to Astralis, they were keeping toe for the first 15, 20 minutes. They were kind of fighting. Uh, Clayed in the in the top end for Photon, where he can play more towards the team fight with this style. So it is going to be again very much dependent on can the mid jungle on both sides get that early lead and bleed that over. Then yeah, it's Olaf can get a couple more axes down. Might see it. The jungler's already moving into each other as well. Top lane gonna see a flash burn there by Finn as the jungler's going into 1v1 as well. It's Zin Zhao versus Lee Sin. There's gonna be a little bit more damage. Flash for flash. Does he get another one? Bo goes back in! And Bo says, get the hell out! To the side of Vitality later on this game. Jung Hoon now on this top side though. Photon incredibly low. They know that Bo had to reset, so they're on a timer. They're on and a Jung Hoon wants to make it happen. No flash here for Photon. He gets hooked up, taken down. Finn collects that kill. And Astralis get themselves on the board. You see Kaiser. Bo though, still sitting around on this top side, really wants to punish Finn, who has no summoner spells, and the wave is going to crash. Leader trying to move his way up. Yeah, he's got no flash, got no ghost, and he's got nowhere to go. Finn is taking more auto attacks and was he re getting a little bit of regen, but good to see him there. Leader trying in to move position up. to try and go in for any kind of big play right now, and Perks might still think about it right now. Young Hoon, I'm not sure you wanted to go for that. He flashes away, but the Sonic Wave lands, and Bo gets his third kill. Big mistake there for John. At least a little bit in the long run on this play for the Dragon. He's got to play weak side though. You can see him. He really wants to put himself in position to take this wave, and that little bit of hubris is going to be in his downfall. He flashes away. 1 1 3 tries to get himself out of turret aggro. They're going to be able to get this one. Photon 1 v 3 Almost taking everyone else out with him, but nobody else dies from Astralis. They do get the successful kill. It took three flashes, but they get the job done, and now Bo moving in onto this bottom side. Oh, they get the perfect kick back, and that means Kamehameha is going to an immediate uh, ultimate to try and keep himself safe. That's going to be another kill for Bo, and they do give one over to this area as well. TP from Leader just too little, too late. Oh, and with the Rift no. Herald, Leader had lost, lost his flash top. And now Perks with the ultimate. Hesheni comes down and says, Hey, Leader, how's it going? Doesn't look like you're having the best of times. Oh, that's going to be a trade back, though, for Leader. Does get a massive amount of shutdown. That was 700 gold, so still a one for one in that regard. Lots of plates going over to Vitality in this bot side as well, but Vitality still coming out the better of the trade, you would imagine. Well, Finn got all those plates in the top side. Is 113 in trouble? He is in a lot of trouble, but they're going to see a lot of damage coming out from this turret. They're trying to just kite this one out, and Vitality are just gaining. Next challenger, please. They're going to take them all. Jong Hoon throwing the tail. You yeah. don't want this one anymore. <laughs> Vitality are looking very, very strong, but top side. 1,000 gold lead essentially for Finn in that top end, having got all that extra gold. Finish up here now, Kaiser trying to see if he can help out Photon and Bo as the rest of Astralis are making their way towards this top side. They really want to try and put their, their strong side of the map to be top. They're going to jump in, flash away. Is Kaiser now getting caught up himself? Gets his quickness stolen away from him. Can he get away? That's the question. Looks like he can for the moment. 113 jumps in as we can see Photon with the counter strike. It's a four man mock up. They can continue to CC everybody down. And Bo is just taking everyone out on a silver pull. Ladder. The Viking cannot last any longer. Your history is done. Triple kill for Bo, and you thought he wouldn't <laughs> yeah, get I was kills. Gonna say, I'm glad I didn't put any money on that. But <laughs> finally, starting to get to see that carry performance I from mean, the Chinese jungle. Absolutely, like this is what we were excited for. This is what we saw when this guy was kind of announced. Right now, the quickness comes in. We're gonna see Kabe going up into the feathers. The Q lands. He's very powerful, and he goes straight in on top of it. They're gonna try and get the kick back. The Q again. It's the bow show right now. And Vitality are loving it. Kame didn't stop. It does feel like they're just not really having the answers right now. So where do you want to see them try and? Well, we might have to see an answer here. Bo looking for a one v one against Leader. This is going to be the ultimate of the Jacks. I was thrown away. Comic Q does miss back, but he kicks him back anyway. He's got the cooldown reduction. Perk saying leave that one v one alone because he wants the damage. Bo with a kill. Can he get another one? No, he cannot. But he gets himself away. The flash forward and shut down. Goes over to the Olaf, but you've had to invest almost everything into this fight now. The Annie has enough damage to take down the Olaf. While this is happening, Photon's playing PVE. And the fact that Vitality keep winning these uneven fights is just not making things easy get for this low health mid lane terror down. Vitality looks like they're just kind of going to give this one up. Although, as I say, that TP, TP now from Perks. TP going to be coming in here to see if they can maybe catch somebody out. There is a flash available for Perks, and he has got his ultimate as well. Bo is here, and Bo wants more to go. We're going to jump into 1 3 He's forced to use that Crescent Guard. He gets charmed up anyway as Leader gets himself taken very, very low. The Zinzao is dead. Leader has fallen as well. 
Photon on the flank, looking to see if he can get a Counter-Strike. Young Hoon can't go anywhere. He has nothing to do except just wait underneath his tower and hope the rain stops. Oh, that was so sad. Young Hoon's like holding onto the tower, like, please save me. But there is no safety from Vitality right now. 20 minutes once more, we see them move over towards the Baron. Waves fully pushing in their favor. Vitality have come alive and want to make it to the top four. I mean, they want to not just make it. They want to stamp themselves in and say, look, we are the... A little bit of whack-a-mole, we can see there. Bo looking for a 1v1 against 1-1-3. He's going to be able to get it a little bit. There is a Crescent Guard. No Crescent Guard, I should say. Bo, he down. wants it as much as anybody else. He heard you say he wouldn't get 12 kills. If he gets these two, he will get it. He's 1v2. What Bo is happening? Knows. He has his team with him, and they will be kill-stealing away from him. Perks gets himself a double because he used his flash. And Vitality still have another member on the bot side. Every time they take the fights, you got to look the other run, lanes. As run, he... run, you can't be here right now. Flash away, but you've just given the Olaf over. He's gonna find himself going in. Oh my lord, I thought he was gonna land a Sonic Wave. But yeah, the Xeri's ending the game bot side. The Xeri is getting himself an inhibitor turret while you're losing members left, right, and center. I mean, upset just like, yeah lads, big thumbs up. Agree with what you're doing. Photon, I'm just can we swap? Chill. Can we yeah, swap yeah. Photon? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool, nice, cool. Nice. Thanks. I mean, neither have TP, so you might as well have this bit of push AD carry. So, Vitality now, just in a fantastic spot. Dragon and 10 seconds, but do you really care? You have Baron, you have Push, you have complete control, and they're just going to continue to put the hurt down onto Astralis. We're going to see Yonghu looking for something here. They put down the ultimate onto Bo, but not really going to have anything else. He goes back in. Bo has another kill to his name. He is taking over this game, and there's nothing Astralis can do. Does he take the cube? He wants this. He was moving towards it. He really wanted to go back in on top of that. But Yong Hoon on the flank of ages, the flank of gods. But you cannot flank if your base is destroyed, Dagda. <laughs> He's a long way from home. And Vitality aren't going to stop. 22 and a half He's minutes. He's off in space. And, and Nexus turret falls. Leader desperately trying. Kobe trying to work with Finn. But the terrors are falling, Oshin. Yeah, they're going down. You got one last ditch effort here from the side of Astralis to try and keep themselves in this. But it looking like with all the damage, all the gold, all the items, and all the pressure in the world, Vitality are just toying with them right now. They still have Baron for 35 seconds! It's, well, they need a wave, and it's about to roll on through. Astralis trying to kill him, but it's gone! It's, Perks catches him! Yep, they're going for it. It's leader going back onto the fountain. They do land a Sonic Wave here. They're going to jump in under Kabe, and they're going to get another kill. He said game one was a warm-up. Game two was the real deal. And Vitality 2-0 Astralis in the fastest game of groups. In a statement performance, Vitality lock in top four. Incredible stuff. And Astralis, I, what? There was nothing they could do. No. This Vitality this was, was overpowered.